here we are with the Sprouty Mark II, and actually just to the left of it, I think in the picture you can see not Sprouty, but Jingles, my blind cat, <laughs> facing away from the camera. She's very unimpressed by all this shortwave radio. So anyway, we're on the 40 meter band uh, on the coil that covers 6880 to I think about 7450 or something like that. Let's just take a quick twirl around. Oh, bye Jingles. This is the 3 kilohertz filter, by the way. 2.4 kilohertz and the narrow filter. Let's go to the slightly wider filter and tune up the band a bit more. We're at the bottom end of 40 right now. I just heard him say there isn't, but uh, I'm not going to hang around it for long enough to hear what there isn't enough of or whatever because we, we want to carry on at the band, so... Oh gosh! So I think you can see, although there's quite a few signals on the lower end of 40 this evening, the, uh, the filter is doing quite a good job of separating them out. That's the 700 hertz filter, by the way. Low pass filter. Anyway, let's go up into uh, the voice portion of the band. I'm going to put a little bit more carrier injection there. That's a 3 kilohertz filter. This generator is 15 years old, never been fired up. Turbo's never... That's the 2.4 kilohertz filter. All still painted Caterpillar yellow and... Uh, mint condition in the cabinet. We just moved it over and uh, rinsed it off with the car wash. And I actually like the three kilohertz filter for most listening. It's just a bit wider and you get a little bit more fidelity. Did you hear that when the, the, a little bit of uh, QSB came in and the signal got very strong and then it, the, the oscillator pulled a bit? I don't know if you heard that. It's radiated. The walls 
boson elements also radiate, but they cancel each other out, the ones that are equal in opposite directions, and that's why you don't get much... Uh... That is one of the things about regens, obviously, that it's a bit like a sports car with a manual stick shift. You have to do a lot more driving of the controls to, uh, to get the results out of it, but they're a lot of fun. Anyway, I got a kick out of those... Uh... The narrower 2.4 kilohertz filter is kind of nice. Old pictures and everything, and, and uh, boy, there's a lot of history up there. It does ca ca cut out on quite a bit of the uh, the extra noise and hiss. And there's a lot, a lot there to go through, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's the Sprouty Mark II on the 40 meter band on uh, on SSB and CW in the early evening. Uh, actually, I think we're in grey line right now. You can probably see there's still a little bit of light out of the window. Anyway. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. The Sprouty Mark II on 40 meters, and I'm going to try and make some more videos on, on different bands and modes and let you know how it operates. But uh, it's, it's been really great so far.